All right, what is up, guys? We are back with Attack on Titan, Chapter One Hundred and Twenty: A Fleeting Moment. Um, let's let's just get into it, man. After what happened last chapter, the absolute insanity that was last chapter. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how Isayama is gonna follow that up. Um, Aaron, we must save everyone. I dropped it. My stay at the hospital must have dulled my re uh, dulled my reflexes. Hmm. I really like this shot, man. The birds flying over the district. Really nice shot. I wonder if there's like if those if that feather's supposed to be covering anything or if or if it's just there like just to be there, but that would be I wonder, like I don't know. Oh man, dude. This is this is a really weird format for the chapter to be drawn in so far, right? It's all black pages and it looks like like shards or like fragments, right? Or just like pieces of something. Interesting. We got Mikasa and and Pick versus Armin or Mikasa Armin versus Pick. Titan's still running around. Sasha's family is still there. We got Reiner there. <laughs> I'm guessing that's probably Falco. So that does confirm that, yeah, he did indeed. He's about to become the next Jaws Titan, man. That, that body is steaming. Man. Oh, so Connie and, and, and John had a clear view of what just happened to Aaron. Crap. Damn, dude. And Gabby. <laughs> and then Z catching his butt, his brother. Man, I still can't believe, whoa. What the hell? Okay, so this is definitely, oh, it, it's, it all makes sense now. This is so cool. It's all like, like shards of like, uh, like, like, uh, what I'm assuming to be Aaron's memory, right? But then again, there's people he here from different timelines, it looks like, right? Obviously, you have Hanji, Levi, you got Connie <laughs> messing with Sasha, um, Falco. Oh, you got Levi's squad there, too. Um, Grisha's there, the basement key. <laughs> that infamous day, man, where, where Bert Holt showed up. Down here. Mikasa. I love that Mikasa is like the biggest shard, man. Reiner. Aaron's mom. Armin, a bowl of food. <laughs> um, Grisha's sister is there. Frida is there as well, right? So and Annie is there. Um, Historia, jeez, man. Holy what? So he's there. This is the this is the the realm. Man, dude, it almost like because we do know like this is like, um, well, I don't know if it's been like confirmed or anything. Like maybe Isayama has said it in in um an interview or something, but um, this is definitely like Norse mythology. Like at least like uh inspired a little bit, right? Um, like the name Ymir alone is is from Norse mythology or or origin, I believe, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know this 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 thing that Aaron is standing before just reminds me so much of like the World Tree, right? The the Yggdrasil, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. It just it just reminds me so much of that. Um, 
Okay, interesting. Um, where am I? The coordinate where all paths converge. Interesting. And it's just the same thing that Ymir saw in, in, in the sky that one time too, right? Um, when she was like staring up in, into that, that night sky, that night starry sky. Oh, and Zeke, why, why is Zeke here? I think this must be where members of the royal family who inherited the founder came when they made use of its power. Brother, I've been waiting for so long, Aaron, for you to recover and awaken. It's like I've been sitting here for years. Have years passed? I'm not sure. What takes place here passes in a flash out there. Gabby blew your head off, but we were able to make contact before you completely passed on. Okay. Interesting. We succeeded. Which does... I, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe, like, the head theoretically would, like, still be, like, the brain would still be active, like, a, a little bit, even if, like, it is, like, decapitated from, like, the rest of the body, like, the brain would still be active for, like, a little bit, right? So, like, I guess, I guess that's, that's not complete BS, right? <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, so we succeeded and we gained the power of the founder. Interesting, but why is he all chained up? Well, he did say that he was here for a while. He's been here for a while, so... I don't know. <laughs> um, someone's here. Don't worry. That is Ymir the founder. Okay, so that little girl was Ymir. Dude. Holy crap. We finally meeting Ymir. Are you kidding me? Herself. Ymir the founder? How do you know? Uh, who else would be wandering this place but her? It was she who rebuilt half of my body with this soil and brought me back to life. I think that she was always be that she has always been here. Molding titans from this clay. Every time we sought their power. All this time alone, Aaron, you must command our founder. The time has come for our dream to be made real. Where are those chains? Oh, you just now noticed them? Well, thank you for your concern. Dude, I'm still, I'm still like tripped up over the fact that, I, I mean, now it, it's not like 100% confirmed because this is just a theory on Zeke's part. But I feel like it's completely plausible that Ymir is the one, in fact, that like, whenever, God, oh my God, so like, when Reiner, okay, I mean, this this relates to anybody, but whenever someone calls upon the power of the Titans, like, how their bodies almost instantaneously, uh, you know, like, uh, the skeleton appears, and then the muscle wraps around it, and then the skin comes after that, right? So, like, he's basically saying that that's Ymir in this realm, like, like, putting, actually, like, molding the body together, and then in, you know, their realm, that's how, like, the body is actually, like, takes shape and takes form, right? That's, is that what he means? Because if that is truly the case, that is so cool. Um, but it also, like, it brings up so many questions, like, how long does that take for Ymir? Because we also have the question of, like, partial transformations right for instance we've seen that uh, like several times throughout the series so like what what is specifically like why does that happen right is that just a, a result of ymir not having enough time to fully construct the body like 100 percent? is that why that's happening um and, and then, like i feel like this is just it's just a, a massive snowball that just like keeps getting bigger and bigger because then it's like okay it's so, like Obviously, the hardening abilities is, is would be the result of Ymir as as well, right? Uh, whenever the Warhammer Titan used uh, her abilities, that's the result of, of Ymir as well. Um, what about regeneration? Is that Ymir then like, oh, great, now I have to fix him up again, right? <laughs> like, is that is that 100% Ymir responsible for that? Like, God, dude, this is, this is really cool. Um... Okay, so next page. Uh, these are what keep me from acting freely here. In other words, the vow to renounce war. 
as I thought, you're the only one able to move freely here. That makes you the only one who could command our founder. My dream, Mr. Saber's dream, and your dream. Please, you must save the world. Man, dude, look at this this shot of the tree behind Aaron, dude. Aaron? Tell our founder. Tell her to give every Eldian a body that will never again be capable of creating a child. Crushing the allied forces by rumbling the land can wait. You want me to euthanize every Eldian? Aaron. There is no way I could ever go along with a plan that messed up. Sorry, brother. Dude. So, I mean, that's... I mean, that's what we've been waiting for this this entire time, right? Because we never... I mean, sure, I guess, I guess you could have made the call pretty easily, but, like... We never a hundred percent knew where which side of the spectrum was was he uh he falling like did he truly believe in in that uh that goal or did Aaron have plans of his own right um so it's nice that that's finally been revealed man that he never he never intended to to euthanize the Eldians from the beginning um I was just playing along so I could get here. <laughs> Dude, the Zeke's just crying, man. As, li as essentially like his entire life purpose, right? Like has led up to, like these two making contact together, and and he's he's like literally right at the fi at the the finish line, right? Um, and to kind of have like the carpet, the rug pulled out from under him, right? That's I kind of feel bad for him. Not not gonna lie. Um. So long as there are Eldians, this hell will never end. If you don't do this now, this bloodshed will never stop. What we've repeated so many times will only continue for eternity. Why, Aaron? Tell me. Because I was born into this world. Ymir, a founder, give me your strength. And she just walked by him. Interesting. I should have known. Aaron, I wanted to believe that at least you would understand. Is this thanks to our father's brainwashing too? What what is up with her with her eyes, right? Because I think that that was how she looked like when we first saw her putting Zeke back together, right? Like I mean obviously there has to be some reason why Isayama is choosing to just like complete like she she looks like a skeleton, right? Um essentially. Not not like in terms of like physically like her 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 body, but just the face like legit looks like a skull. Um, but at the same time, I also I also feel like the the sort of brief depictions that we've seen of the actual founding founder Titan uh, Ymir in in that form has also kind of looked like that, right? Like the eyes kind of shadowed out. I might be wrong on that, but yeah, I don't know. Like it, just her face is so like creepy man um okay uh what do you mean in a long span it took for you to wake up i learned many things the founder can create anything even these earthen chains So long as I, with my royal blood, will it. Whoa, okay. Unlike the kings of the walls throughout history, I arrived here without being tainted by the first king's ideology. Um, and during the long and oh-so-dragged-out time I spent with our founder, I learned how to nullify the vow to renounce war. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go back really quick. All right, so he he learned how to how to renounce that vow, right? Okay. 
So then, like, because earlier he said that the chains are preventing him from, from you know, uh, renouncing that, that vow. So that, that, so was the chains essentially just, like, he was just saying that, like, just for whatever. Um, to, like, kind of, like, trick Aaron. Um, anyway, uh, though she holds immense power, in reality, she is merely a slave with no will of her own. She submits to any with royal blood, believing them to be her master. So I have gained the power of the founder. No, you were nothing but the key, Aaron. So now he's shackled. But yeah, dude, her, like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like eventually we, we will definitely, right? It's, it's inevitable. We will get some kind of deep dive on her character. But I already feel like like, the fact that she has no will on her own, we haven't heard her speak once, right? Um, the fact that she's been here in, in, I mean, essentially her entire life has just been, like, years and years, decades and decades upon decades of just, like, essentially not having a will of your own, right? Just, like, literally being a slave to, to generations of people, uh, uh theoretically, right? Um... So yeah, man, I feel, I barely know her, I feel like, and I already feel, like, like, so empathetic towards her. Um, I'm glad I waited uh, to hear how you truly felt. Clearly, you have been brainwashed by that, by that father of ours. It isn't your fault. Now, we were born to that disgusting monster of a man, but we are but pitiful victims, however. I had another father, one who rescued me. You needed someone to rescue you as well. I swear I will not abandon you. I will use the power of the founder to fix you. Stop it, there's no point. When I save the world, it'll be with you. Man, what, oh, what is he gonna do? Oh man, so we're like legit getting Dude, we're we're going back. <laughs>